am I here for? What am I doing here? I don't know. I've just, I'm just invited a you into my videos, and it might be the worst Am I ever thing. gonna drive this car, by the way? Or are you driving it the whole distance? I'll see. I'll see how I feel. Where's your pipe? Finished it, didn't I you? Finished it because <laughs> I wasn't given an instruction that we had to hang on to it um, until we got into the car. Because you know what, Jules, I respect test cars and I don't fill them with pie crumbs. Whatever. I just burped. <laughs> Coriander chicken pie. Oh my you god, you beast. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, our first video together in already. I'm just like burping in your face. Oh, I love road trips. <laughs> I love the smell of someone else's acid reflux. Beautiful. <laughs> also, I'm about to go for one way. Yeah. Well, you've driven it. You were in so Namibia. So, I, I drove it in Namibia in March, before, right before uh, everything went... Pear shape. Tits pear up. Shape. Oh, yeah. Tits okay. up. Um, and we did... Van Zale's part. What are you looking for? Oh, my handbag. Can we just give me some lipstick because I forgot to put some on. So, do I need to restart that entire story? No. What else am I going to find in here? Yeah, so we uh, drove it in Namibia for three days off road on gravel and over Van Zale's pass, which is notorious. We were repeatedly told it's notorious. Uh -huh. um, and I could eventually see why, because there was a bucky from a certain German, no, German, Japanese, uh, Japanese manufacturer <laughs> uh, lying on its roof on the side and rolled down um, while trying to... Do you think they placed it there just to scare you a little? So like to be like... Yeah, there were tricks around it, so it all looked a bit weird. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, like a little crane around them. <laughs> Um, and you love, so we're in the D240, which is what you actually love. D240, loved. yes. Yes. Um, so I, and maybe I'm slightly old school in that way, but I, I think a, or just old, um, I think a Defender has to have a diesel engine. Um, yeah. And that's why I love this. The P400 has a lot of power and sounds really good. Yeah. But I, Yeah, I mean, me, it's got 550 newton meters. Yeah. And 294 kilowatts, which is That's a, a lot. I don't know if you need that. I also don't. In a Defender. No. This is a great engine. It's got more than enough power. Yeah, 177 kilowatts. Yeah. And 430. 430. <gasps> um, two litre turbo diesel. Two litre turbo curious. diesel. Um, yeah, just really excellent. Excellent, lovely transmission. It just the whole package in terms of the drivetrain just gels. Yeah, let's even. I mean, I mean a little bit of a delay. A little bit of a delay, but then you've got eight gears. But now this interior, so it's like got that sort of modern twist with the old Defenders. Do yeah. you know, you've got like a little bit of that coming through, which I quite like because it's a very interesting interior for me. And very simple Yeah. in a way. And it's got these horizontal bars. So that's that link back to the, the previous Defender. Yes. Um, lots of storage. I mean, I love the amount of I was going to say car. that exact thing. I mean, it, that's my favorite thing. So much practicality. You might be able to get a bottle of wine in there. <gasps> um, but no, you're going to get too excited. Um, <laughs> lots of storage there. This whole section, big door bins. Um, very, very, very practical. I love this so interior. Practical. The problem is, though, that like the boot was a little bit small. The boot was a little bit small. Uh, I mean, certainly didn't help that you packed about 24 bottles of wine. Um, for this little weekend getaway of ours. Damn straight. Damn straight. <clears throat> so you and I are sitting miles apart. Oh, I know, it's fabulous. Um, well, it just means that you're not on top of me. Do you know what I mean? No, I feel about that. But <laughs> well, we... um, loads of legroom. That's what I love. Yeah. Loads of legroom in the back. So it's a proper, proper family car. And it's very comfortable. And I know you probably shouldn't compare it. I mean, well, we do. We always compare to previous generations. That's actually what our yeah. job, to be fair. Um, and to competitors. Um, but if I think, okay, my dad's got like a 1998 long wheelbase. 110, yeah. yeah. And 
I mean, it is not pleasant at this point to go on a long road trip in that. One, because you can only do like a hundred. Yeah. Um, and it's very bouncy. My poor grandmother gets put in the back there and just like almost, like, I don't know, loses her hair. Do you mean in the boot? <laughs> no, in the back seat. Oh. Yeah. That's a it's, weird little thing. It is. What is that? <laughs> oh, um, you know those people are going to swing when they get to their caravan park. Definitely. Can I not say that? No, you can't say that. Okay. I mean, I unashamedly love this car. But I, you know, I didn't think I was, and it's probably because I've got my dad in my back, like the back of my head saying, you know, he is a diehard Defender fan. He, and like, I, maybe that is why the name is Defender. Because he defends it to the ends of the earth. I... <laughs> I you mean, cannot... I would give Land Rover's marketing department a little bit more credit. Sure. It's something with this brand that, um, like, people feel especially loyal towards Land Rover. Yeah. My, we had a Series 2, so long before it became a Defender. Um, and this thing's, like, fuel cable, well, snapped about once a week. <laughs> My dad had replacement, just replacement in the cabin. I remember, like, at the holiday home, so many mornings coming out with a coffee, and then I just see my dad's legs sticking out from <laughs> under the car because he had to fix something. But he would defend. Oh, you see. That car That's why the defender. I mean, my mom refused to drive in it because it hurt her breasts because it was so bouncy. <gasps> yeah, um, sports bra. Yeah, but now, how do you tell a middle-aged woman to wear sports bra? No, fair enough. Um, but that's but, like this, how sweet, how lovely is this car? This is divine. Okay, so the technology that I know you hate, I love, is this clear view mirror. Yeah, and you can get used to I it. Mean, look how cool that is! I just think like, a, a, a mirror is a mirror. No, I'm is... happy to use a mirror. No, it, for what it is, it's brilliant. Sure, and, and that waiting one, the one, the clear view, ground view that you under, this yeah, doesn't have it which it's the that is fabulous we used it in namibia when we were off-roading and mm. that makes a real difference you can see the path because you're not always going to have someone standing outside going hey, you know yeah. how those and they always yeah. do it with oh. fingers yeah. and then this and i'm sitting there going the hell does that and we are so i go faster yeah. reverse <laughs> oh there was a baby tortoise did you drive over it no i missed it but i don't know I heard, felt a little doof. I did not drive over it. Um, I, cry. <laughs> I would get in this Tasman Blue as well oh, with the black wheels. I really love it. Um, I would get a darker color inside. I think uh, this is yeah. a little bit lighter. It shows stains quickly. And it's already. Yeah, like high crumbs, especially. Wow. Um, um, I'm very excited now to take it a bit off road as well, though. Oh, yes. Game, which we're going to do at the game park. <laughs> Missed by Q. Then you yeah. need to try the sea salt. Try red ones for this. Oh, for sure. It's so cold outside. I'm thinking. Oh, the salt of the earth. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's no. not for tasting. Not so that one. Okay. Why not? Yeah. Jules is spitting, by the way, but I'll be I'll be drinking the wine. Are you? I feel like it's your turn to drive. Uh, I can if you want. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! 